Hello everybody, welcome to a new let's play that I decided to do because my Kerbal Space Program is interactive and takes a long time and I lost all of my other let's play related stuff including some corrupted game files so fuck that off and I actually was f enjoying this game strangely enough it's not a bad game actually it's not brilliant but it's not bad um so what can I say about this game? It was a game that was in development for many years, was redone over and over again, a lot like Duke Nukem Forever and Aliens Colonial Marines, but not quite to those levels. And it suffers from a lot of the same drawbacks. Ideas that were never fully explored, some things that were taken out that would have been awesome. It's a little bit drawn out, but it's certainly not as bad as those other games. Um, Funnily enough, my girlfriend, Murta, who's in university, actually one of her teachers was one of the head um, producers behind this game and was forced to voice act for almost every enemy in the game. And for that reason, he thinks the game is bad because of his voice acting, which the voice acting of the enemies does sound really funny. But yeah, over our existing game, I only did the first act anyway. We're just going to go in normal mode. The story of this is actually kind of hard to follow, I'll give it that. So yeah, no idea what that was about. A delayed reaction anniversary celebrations. Earlier, we had the chance to speak to nanocell head scientist Roderick Norton about the devastation of the global population flood and how nanocell's technology is poised to deliver a brighter future. The catastrophic effects of the population flood can be alleviated if we keep our faith in science. Our nanotechnology will one day make the deserts bloom with food for all mankind, and our network tonight will take us one step closer to that. Very interesting that they have, quote, faith in science. It's kind of a, an oxymoron, really. And, and what is this population flood? And why was she swimming in a friggin' cave? And there are things this game doesn't explain very well. But at least the game is all right. All right, so let's go take a look outside. Let's see what we got to deal with. So, I just remembered that I actually have the ability to use my gamepad with this game, <laughs> and it actually does work better using the gamepad. Um, now, this is a, this looks like at first glance a big city, um, but it's actually a ship. It's. Strange. Anyway, let's get the Mavi, which Scoot is a I PDA. Might the wrong idea if you keep calling me when you're off duty, Miss Wilson. My system just went down. Anything I should know about? The party of the century is happening on your doorstep, and you're staying at home. Look at that flicker going on. I'm gonna check on the network. You know I don't pay overtime, right? Yeah, the front. Not flicker. Why? That doesn't normally happen. Why does that only have to start happening when I'm recording? Well, whatever. Now we gotta go outside, and if you use the Mavi, it shows you where you need to go. You can pick up objects that explain stuff. Uh, just a revolution to the city at sea. Uh, yeah, explores the notion of engineering as savior. Mm -hmm. Our world may be beyond repair. Hmm. Why is it beyond repair? See, there's a lot of documents to read through, and I like that, but I like my main plot to kind of be described in the main plot. 
Also, there's flicker going on back there as well. It's, never mind, who cares? So we have a PhD. We are awesome. Hold to skip because she's just going to stare at it for forever. Now, there's a lot of things here that look pretty cool. I mean, half-eaten pizza. <laughs> you could really do with one. Uh, a picture of when she went rock climbing. So she went, she goes ro free rock climbing, free climbing, or whatever you want to call it. What's, what's it called? You can't answer. Why am I asking? Oh my god, she's a clean dishes everywhere. Uh, and then she goes like diving into caves. And she's afraid of water. Station. Kate, listen, your system failing hardly amounts to a security threat. Just let other people do their jobs for a change. Well, there's no harm in checking, is there, Scoot? Fine, fine. I'm too busy to argue with you. Where are you? I'm just by the uh, security post in D-Cell. D-Cell? What are you doing down there? I'm working so that you can have the night off. Scoot, I don't His need voice is familiar. Off. I think you're gonna get that night off anyway. Pretty low res cutscene, to be honest. The game itself looks better than the cutscene. Maybe that's further proof how long they were developing it, I don't know. Same could be said of games like Hitman. Kate! Game over. Who's Jenny? Uh, Scoot, uh, is that you? Of course it's me. Well, duh. Are you okay? Can you move? I think so. Well, now would be a good time. Why would she say, Scoot, is that you when he was on the thing with her the whole time? Where am I? The hull is breached. A deck is flooding. Thank fuck it's not all decks. Just a deck. So yeah, we get like a, an Assassin's Creed style movement thing and then we'll be climbing a lot in this game. Unfortunately, you don't have as much freedom as you do in like Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell and those games. wasn't hit, at least not yet. But I'll leave when you're safe. Right, you do whatever you want. So Jesus, who did this? We're on a sinking ship, basically. So the idea Shit. behind this game is it's supposed to have like revolutionary water physics, which for the time it did. They actually hired a guy. My security level has been reset. I'm trapped down here. Oh crap. Somebody's breached the network. The security system's down. You'll have to hack back in. I can't. My mapping programs have been wiped. I'll need a new hack module. Okay, scanning. There's a console on the level above. Uploading now. Hang on. How could they hack the system without us knowing? They couldn't. That's what worries me. Right. Well, as I was saying, this game was made to have basically a whole new water physics. And wow, that down there does not look right. It looks like a bottomless pit. And they hired a guy with a PhD in like uh, astronomy and physics, things like that, astrophysics, all sorts of stuff. And they had him work tirelessly to make a water engine that was good, but 
they didn't utilize it as well as you would expect for that. Download the hack program from the central console. Officer, I need to use that console. Hey! Oh no, Yates! I don't know him. There's some kind of sick message. It's being broadcast all over the ship. I'll look into it. Just get the hack program and get the hell out of there. Shave the world. Right, the hack module just allows you to hack shit, right? Okay, Simple. We're gonna Hacking is pretty system. decent in this game, actually. Way to regain your security access. Now get the security control. It's back past the elevators. Okay, back past the elevators. That beeping noise. That sounds friendly. Wait a second. What is that? What are you talking about? Walk towards it, of course. You have a PhD and you just... Oh shit, take run! Yeah. Damn it! I'm all right, Scoot. I'm okay. Ah, the door won't open. I can't get out. The access circuits are fried. You'll have to hack the emergency release. Damn. As far as I remember, I have to actually get close to it. Another way around. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? Well. You did say go to the show plaza. Yeah, I was thinking you could use the lower entrance. There we go. And across again. Not a problem. So now we get to show you I get to show you the first part of hacking. Well let's pick up this thing first. Uh I know I promised you time celebrations. Uh -huh. Okay. So there was kind of a precur precursor situation to this attack. Excuse All right. Me, miss. You do know it's a crime to hack the ship's systems, don't you? I suppose you're going to report me to Bill, then. It's your first offense. Just keep it quiet. I've got a reputation here, you know. I gotta use the left stick to control the height, and then I've got to use the right trigger to control the length. And it actually works really Just well. Like the good old days, Kate. Now, back to the main assignment. Careful, Kate. In most games, hacking's quite crap. Like, taking games like Mass Effect, where it's just kind of like, get a thing into the middle, you know? This one actually kind of forces you to use some kind of sensitivity on your controller, or on your keyboard and mouse. Queen of the World Replica, that's the ship that we're on. It's friggin' enormous. Um, then... Things like Batman Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Origins, they're the same game. They use that weird hacking with your analog sticks and it's really basic. This one has a much better hacking system in my opinion. So yeah, people are screwed. Are you okay? What's causing these explosions, Scoot? I'm detecting another hull breach. Move your ass now! My ass has been moved. It says switch on flashlight, but I really don't need the flashlight right now. So yeah, the whole place is filling up. And it looks pretty good. Entire areas will be flooded under, and we will have to swim there. When doors close, the water level won't rise. But if I if I was to keep opening that door, then yeah, the water would keep flowing in. The water will continue to like ebb and flow and move as the water yeah you know, move the way water should. And this is actually really good. This is pretty damn good, especially for the time that this game was released, which was not too long after the original Crisis, and that game had some pretty good water as well, but it didn't behave like this. Then take games like Cryostasis, which also had a pretty decent water droplet engine that it never really used. 
this game actually does at least make some use out of its water, but it could have gone so much further. Wanted a bitch. Hell, the man upstairs must like you. You're directly below security control. You just need to find a way up. I didn't sign up for this. So, the man in security control likes me, and Adam Jensen is on board. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing in here to scan. You see, some things you can actually, like, scan on the walls. I'll have to go pick Murta up from university soon, so I'll be stopping recording for long. Let's go see if we can help Billingham. Now we get these weird noises in the background as well now. Wait, what's that next thing here? Open door. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shout out, Bellingham. I'm on my way. Oh, right, almost there. My arms are shaking. You're fine. Of course, just in time. I suggest you take the stairs from now on. Chief. Security system's gonna be trapped in here. I'm detecting water behind the door. Okay, I need side scan. I can use that to open it. Chief, where's the nearest console? Upstairs. <coughs> the office above me. Go now. So yeah, we get our new Mavi ability. Big bad Billingham needs an engineer to come to his rescue. <laughs> this is priceless. Yeah, this is so funny. Damn engineers. Move it. Yeah, I'm not risking my life or anything here. Prick. Anyway, it's in the next room, of course. Shit. Looks like a frequency key. Ah, it's a Mavi E vision program. Let's see if I can decode it. Well, of course. Also, right now. Now we can start seeing things on the walls, Assassin's Creed style. Now, there'll be a weird system where there'll be doors we can't open because we'll need to decrypt them, right? And these arrows are pointing towards where the encryption, the encryption thing is. And... As we can see, it's that way and down. Okay. Hey, right there. It's some kind of cipher. Cipher. Like, why? <laughs> this is not really explained. Jesus. Looks like mission orders for the terrorists. The code for the local door controls. It's embedded in the file. How do they bloody code that up there? How long have they been planning this? Goddamn engineers. Move it! Shut up. Yep, fire will kill you more or less instantly, so don't just try and jump through it. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on G.I. Joe's face when he's rescued. Nor me. What about when I fail to rescue him? Right, I'm gonna stop recording for now, because I really do gotta go, but when I re continue, it will be from here. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.